Take a seat, Chana. Give him a round of applause. Okay. Do you have unconscious signals? Do you? Okay. All right. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what I can do with Chana is something similar to the induction this morning. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> is firstly, Chana, I'd just like you to focus your attention on a spot on the wall over there. And with your attention focused on a spot on the wall, be aware of the windows, be aware of Mattel and Denise in the back, and the people in the foreground. And as you're aware of those things, you can be aware of my voice. The sounds outside, the sound of the projector. That's right. Now tuning your awareness into the feelings of your feet on the rim of the chair, your hands resting gently in your lap, and your back against that chair. So I've done three visuals, three auditories, and three kinesthetics, right? Back to the visual system. Be aware of the shades of color on the blinds and the camera. Tune in your auditory awareness to the sound of your breathing up and down. Hearing your breathing rhythm and hearing the space between my words. Paying attention now to the sensations in your eyes All of the little sensations in your eyes. The sensations in your shoulders. Your inner experience, your internal sensations. Sensations in your chest, in your legs. So I've done two visuals, two auditories, four kinesthetics, five actually. See how he's mirroring me? I breathed in, he's breathed in. So I'm leading, right? I didn't tell him to change his breathing rhythm. Just being aware now of the people in front of you. That's right. That sound way in the distance. That's right. And all your internal sensations. And as you're aware of all your internal sensations that are running through your body, being aware of your internal body temperature, all of the feelings you feel throughout your whole body, Just being aware of all of these sensations. That's right. So now getting him really aware of his internal sensations. So I'm going to ask a framing question. And there's two ways you can elicit a yes signal. You can just say unconscious. Can you provide me with a yes signal for the purpose? Or you can ask a question and listen or he to experience how his body responds. Okay? So in a moment, Chana, I'm going to ask your unconscious to provide you with a signal. And that signal is to set up a filter for you that's going to filter out anything that's going to call into question your health and well-being when you're doing coaching or healing work with another person. If your unconscious understands this question, ask it to signal yes. Very good. Okay, so he's got a finger movement there. Now he could have something inside as well. 
If that's the yes signal, please repeat it. Okay. That's involuntary. You can tell it's involuntary. Conscious movements are smooth. Involuntary ones are irregular. A bit jerky. Everybody understand what's happening? So this is unconscious communicating. It's an involuntary response. Just move your finger consciously, Chana. Now just make it move yourself. A conscious movement. Okay? I'd like you to notice the difference. Is there a difference in when you do it consciously and when the unconscious does it? Can you tell the difference? Okay? Good stuff. So we've got a signal. Next step is just now ask your unconscious to set this filter. Unconscious, please set this filter that's going to filter out anything that's going to call into question my health and well-being to keep me safe when I'm doing coaching and change work. And then ask the unconscious to signal when the filter is set. Okay. So it's set. Good job. Everybody understand? The filter's set. Thank your unconscious mind, Jenna. Okay. Good job.